Welcome to Slay the Spire. Um, of course, this isn't me playing normal Slay the Spire, of course. No, it's me playing the Lobotomy Corporation mod for Slay the Spire. Um, I've got like three hours on Slay the Spire, but I vaguely know what's going on well enough to think I can attempt this. But yeah, uh, starting this new thing where every Sunday I'm just going to be playing some random game with Project Moon mods for the bit. And of course, this is kind of like a stand. This is like a, a classic mod, I feel like. Um, Lobcourt mod for Slay the Spire. There's also a Ruin mod. There's also a Limbus mod. I think the Limbus mod is relatively small compared to the others, but still. Um, just for now, just going on the Lobcourt mod and the Lobcourt extended mod. Uh, I'll probably like link it in the description or something, like the mods I'm using. It's like two mods. <clears throat> but yeah, um, if you don't know much about Slay the Spire, it's like a deck building roguelike where you fight using cards. Some of the elements are fairly similar to that of, uh... Oh, I need to get a different mod, don't I? Wait a second. Oh, I think I messed something up. Give me a minute. Okay, I've, uh, I've installed a mod that should fix the thing. There's, like, some sort of meta progression thing that I didn't basically need to do the Lobcorp stuff, and I hadn't done it because this is new. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is how the game's supposed to start. This whale's talking to me, and he's, you know, offering me some random things. However... I'm also offered to obtain the bucket. And basically, by selecting this, this is basically the entirety of the basis of this Lobotomy mod. Um, it's, it's giving it a tutorial thing. Don't worry too much about it for now. Um, I guess first things first, Slay the Spire. So if you don't know, it's like Mirror Dungeons. I gotta choose my path to get to the end here. Simple enough. Uh, I don't know the strategy. And we're getting a tutorial here. So... Basically how it works each turn, you've got three energy. It's like light from Ruina. Um, each card has like a cost to it. So if I wanted to, I could say do a defend and then a bash this turn. I think that's like the wrong way to go about doing stuff whatsoever. I think it would have been much better to do things in any way other than that. But yeah, I could do that. And so above the enemies, you can see what they're doing each turn. For example, that guy was doing 11 damage. This time this guy's blocking and using a buff. But it's... So basically, I can just go all in on offense this turn, because uh, he, he's not attacking this turn. And that's the basics. It's basically, it's pretty self-centered in there. <laughs> I'm getting so many tutorials because I haven't played the I played the game a little bit before. I created a new save file just in case I needed to have a new save file or something. But yeah, there we go. We get the kill. And, um... So after each fight, you're given some option between cards. You can add them to your deck. Uh, what's good here? The only damage to all enemies sounds funny. Four damage to all, and one vulnerable to all enemies sounds even funnier, though, I think. And then, so, here's where the interesting thing comes in. Reward question mark. So this is what the Lobcourt mod is doing for us. Basically, each fight, we can choose an abnormality. And these are effectively cards that have effects you do not know of. So we were good. I thought we have um, no white apple. We've got warm-hearted woodsman, and we've got Letitia here. Um, I don't know. I'll take Letitia because she's probably the least likely to kill us. And so if I pull this up in my uh deck here, you can you can see lock. It's not telling me what this card does. That's where the bucket comes in. We'll we'll start like gaining like uh. PE boxes over time with the bucket, and we can use those to unlock information about the abnormality cards. Okay, this is there's also some events uh, from the mod too. So it's, normally there'd be an actual Slay the Spire event going on here, but now it's the Lobcorp one. This is the shelter. I do not need to heal HP, and um, I do not think I want to stay in here. <laughs> I do not think that's a good idea. I feel strange to be here and quickly leave. Yeah. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. <clears throat> so I give the choice to either upgrade two random cards and lose 16 HP or leave. Upgrade some stuff. Why not? Sounds useful. And yeah, we press on. More enemies. But now we can see in the deck we do have the Letitia card. I've got no clue what that does. It's not a very trial and error mod. It's very Lobcorp like in the fact that you're just going to have to do things and hope. That it's good, right? 
Okay, we can just kill this guy straight up here, and then we can block. You can see he's going for an attack of 5 this turn. So by blocking 5, it means we're going to take no damage. Like shield HP in uh, Limbus. I'm comparing stuff to Ruin and Limbus a lot, and that's just because that's the easiest way for me to make comparisons. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Um, Can I play this? Okay, I can. It didn't cost anything. And it didn't seem to do anything. So I don't I don't know. Well let's let's think this through. What would Letitia do? My best guess is like gift ruin a mechanic? You're here again, I'll play you again and nothing happens. Okay, I don't know. But yeah, we get some PE boxes. The amount of PE boxes we gain each fight depends on how many avenues we have, so we've gone and want to get a lot of them. Oh, that's a tutorial thing. Um Oh, I'm gonna take another Thunderclap X. This basically just means it spends all of my energy and then does damage based on how much energy I spend. Oh, I'll take that, sure. That's a power, which means it's just a permanent effect for the rest of that fight. Okay, um... Old Lady... Punishing Bird. And the, um, tree. Oh, a Punishing Bird! Why not? Why not? But yeah, so now we've got some PE boxes, so we might be able to... Okay, we don't have enough. It doesn't tell me how much I need to actually unlock these, which is unfortunate. Maybe I can unlock this. No, even though it's a Tath, I still need more PE boxes. I've got no clue how many I need for, like, anything, right? Shh. I know I know very little about this mod. I've seen some gameplay about it, but it's probably been, like, a several years at this point. Another just random, like, Slay the Spire-based event. What have we got here? Hello, Adventure. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is... That in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? I can gain gold, but become cursed down. Curses are basically things that just kind of clog up your deck. Uh, do I want money? I love money. Give me money. Yippee! I love money. And now we get a rest stop, so I can choose either rest and heal HP, or I can smith an upgraded card in my deck. Uh, okay, I cannot upgrade the abnormality cards, good to know. Like, yeah, make this do more damage. Make this more damage and more vulnerable. Make this more block. Oh, great thunderclap. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. And so we can go for an event or a a um elite enemy. Powerful enemies that give us effectively a relic, a something to start with. I'll go for this. Why not? Okay, the uh, the sentry is interesting. Letitia's here again. Is it going to be a case of if I don't play Letitia, will she explode? Is that what the bit's gonna be? It might be. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, we can get some block. Sure. Oh, weakened. Okay, so I think because I didn't play Letitia, I got weakened. So should I always try playing Letitia then, I suppose? Well, these guys are just adding a bunch of bad cards into my deck to be rude. Punishing Bird. I don't even know what Punishing Bird would do, logically. Oh, right, they negated that. That's fine. Uh, we can get some shield, I guess. That's something. And we'll still focus down the front one. We'll take some damage here. That's fine. I healed up a little bit. Did Punishing Bird heal us? I don't know. <laughs> Basically, all this mod is, is there's like 12 things going on at any time, and you've got no idea where they're coming from. Which is really funny. Get that melt metallicize here. That's solid. And next turn, we might be able to kill that front sentry if we get lucky with what we draw. However, these guys are adding so much garbage to our deck. But that's what these Ds are. It's basically just filler. It's just ruining my deck. It only lasts for this fight, though. It's not, like, permanent. But yeah. Um. Oh. Okay, wait. So it's a zero cost. Okay, so Letitia seems to be reducing the cost of cards. I can't quite kill you this turn. It's important. Okay, but it also exhausts it, which means I can't use it for the rest of the fight. And also makes it deal to take some damage. Now, unfortunately, I cannot block or anything this turn. I've got metallicized, though, so, you know, I'm getting a little bit of passive block. That's something. Okay. Front guy we can kill when you need to. Might need to. We don't even... I need to play this because I want to... Healed, even though we lose it, that's fine. I want to make sure you're dead. I know we don't need to kill you there, because you weren't attacking, but also, like, there's a very real chance I do not get a single offensive thing in this next hand if I just get so many days. 
And these, I've got so many days. Yeah, look at that. I made the right choice killing that guy in the front. Awesome. Uh, Punishing Bird, you want to try it? Okay, uh, Punishing Bird. If you try using it, it'll counterattack and kill you. Good to know. Good to know. All right, you know, good first run. Good first run. Of course, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna send it back. Unlock a new character or something. I'm just gonna roll the default character more, I think. No need to mix things up. Ironclad is basically just kind of like the standard. Greetings, yeah. I'm gonna get the bucket again. Okay, so our PA boxes do get carried over, though, so we might be able to just unlock info about whoever we see next instantly, maybe? But, like, I don't know what to prioritize. Like, I'm so used to, like, I always prioritize events in Limbus, and I really don't know if that's the play here, right? Because, sure, that is a lot of events, but, like, I probably want fights. Maybe I'll do something like that, then. Goes into, like, the events a little bit, but not, like, super heavy? I like that idea. Okay, some slimes. Interesting. Uh, we can... We can... Kill you immediately. And then damage you a little bit. No need to shield since it's not attacking. And it's being strategic, so it is lit. Frail, so I, I like get less block this turn. That is rude. Yeah, I'm making three block for my defenses. So I'm gonna take damage pretty much guaranteed here. That's fine. I'll just only play one then. Get as much damage out as I can. If I can't fully block the damage, because Ironclad starting, uh, I almost called it you gift. Starting passive item means that I heal six HP every fight, so I really don't worry too much if I take a little bit of damage in a fight. Okay, invitation letter. I mean, I think this is just. I don't know what this is. I think this means I can get like ordeals as fights for bosses and stuff. I don't know for sure. It's not a. It's it's it says lobotomy extend. It's one of the. It's from one of the lot court mods. Okay, damage you with a block, 3 damage to a random enemy three times, ethereal game pen block. The ethereal, card is end in your hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. Okay, so if I don't play it, I lose it for that fight. Okay, crumbling armor, punishing bird, bloodbath. Um, I'm not taking punishing bird again, I now know. I really should have seen a company that I would instantly die to punishing bird, huh? It's it's a very fitting thing for it to do. That's fine. Drake, can I kill instantly? I can kill one of these guys instantly. I won't be able to ghost the armor if I do that though. I could probably Oh no, I won't be able to kill these they're gonna gain like shield when I attack them, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. I block most of the damage. If I can kill these guys quickly, uh I only took three damage there. I get six passive healing each fight, so that's fine. Let's, let's see. I think I, I assume I can't unlock you either. Yeah. So is it going to be like 20 to unlock the info on a path or something, maybe? I don't know. Guess we'll have to see. I could try playing it. Okay, like one cost gave me six shield. Interesting. Oh, I wonder. Will it kill me if I use a block or something? Maybe. That's the best guess I have. Or maybe, like, damage me if I use a block? Okay, it didn't. Kill me. And that was my best guess. You're spitting webs at me, that's rude. Both these are at 5 HP, so I should just be able to kill them this turn, right? Yeah, strike. Oh no, I'm weakened this turn. Oh, that's rude. Well, I get a defense. That's alright. You should die, anyways. And we should be able to learn what Crumbling Armor does, right? Because we'll get some PE boxes, it'll probably be enough. Yeah, we're at 30 now. Potions, also, we have some potion slots in the top here. You get potions, you can just use them whenever you need to. They're like consumables you can use when you need to. Like this one gained 5 regen, heal 5 HP each turn, but then the number goes down by 1. Okay. You'll damage it with your block. It's an interesting idea to build around block. And I don't know if it works at all, right? I'll try it. Why not? Okay, Bloodbath again. Oh, there's one sin. I'll probably just take one sin for the bit, right? And then there's, uh... What's his name? Fragment. 
It also uses... This is also... In case the wording is weird to you, um, this is the old translation of Lobcorp it's using for these. So it's going to be a little bit off. Okay, let's see if I can unlock the info on Crumbling Armor. Gain 6 block Ethereal. Okay, so it's another case of if I don't use it, it gets exhausted. And you can see this means there's more to unlock, but I need more. Okay, then that also costs 30 of my PE boxes. Good to know. Bring an event here. Strange blue human with the golden helm. I'm cleric. I can heal, I can purify, remove something from my deck. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, get rid of one of these default lame strikes. For 50 gold. I think that's a steal, right? I don't know. Oh yeah, because it's 75 to do it here. Alright, is there anything we want from this? How much gold do I have? 76. Not enough to get anything too fancy. Nothing that really centers with block. There's this. It's a zero cost that gives six block, but I don't can't afford that. Potions, some like things here. I can remove another strike. I like that idea. It's thinning the deck. Really isn't a good idea when I'm gonna get so many abnormalities, huh? Oh well. well we're going to the elite encounter. Maybe I can beat it. Oh, I'll take the curse of doubt. I love money. Okay, it's these guys again. All right. Do we now know what this does? So it gives us block ethereal. I don't know the downside, though. That's the scary thing. Okay, and once in, you're probably going to heal me to some degree, right? That's the logical bit. Okay, we don't have any... I guess we can crumbling armor... Body slam... Strike? That's something. Weakened. Was that crumbling armor? That weakened us there? Is it because I used I don't know crumbling armor the bit the bit is obviously going to be something along the lines of oh yeah uh you 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 were you know you weren't being a warrior right like you were using defensive things instead of just going fully on the offense because that's what matches crumbling armor pretty well so I presume it's something like that although I don't know crumbling armor again body slam again it's a funny idea. What if I crumbling armor defend body slam? Just do nice solid 11 damage there. Might be able to kill that guy next turn. Yeah. If we can get more like defensive avnos, we might be able to get some like actual defense synergy going on here. Maybe. I don't know how many of the avnos are actually going to be usable like at all. Oh, you don't die. That's rude. You're at 1 HP though, so you should die soon. And yeah, leave once in there. Don't know what it did, if it did anything. Just chillin', I guess. What well, once it does best. Hey, okay, ghostly armor and defend, and that's all we can do this turn. Awesome. And we get this doubt, so we get weakness. Oh no, is the doubt weakening me? I think I might have been... That might have been what's weakening me, and I think I might have just forgotten. That's fine. We should be able to kill the guy at 1 HP this turn, finally. It's kind of, it was kind of bad to get rid of so many strikes when I haven't really added a lot of good offensive options, right? Yeah, I've got so many defends. I don't, like I've said, I've played this game. I can actually check. How much time do I have on Steam? Yeah, 3.2 hours on this game. I've done maybe a couple of runs, and that was probably 2019, I want to say. That's probably when I got the game. I don't know. Well, I'm crumbling armor again. What are the odds that it's gonna kill me instantly? Oh, yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty likely that it kills me instantly. From what I know, I know this mod is not a very forgiving one. It's very lobcorp esque in that sense. Awesome. Okay, let's try using you. Okay, nothing happened. We're blocking everything at least, but it means this fight is a little bit long. Okay, well, you can body slam, but it's always giving me body slam the turn where I don't have any block at all. That's so sad. God, the amount of the amount of filler stuff they're adding to my deck is really making it hard to get anything good going here. <laughs> okay, you can get some vulnerable on you, I suppose. Actually, no, we can't because you have that funny artifact, so you are immune to status effects until we get rid of it. It's like the greatest status effect from Ruina.
Okay, this is a good- this is actually good. Defend, defend, body slam. It's only 10 damage, but it's 10 damage while blocking all the damage we're taking this turn. Like, that's not bad, right? And, like, they're- they're- we're almost in the clear. Yeah, we can kill you this turn. Strike, strike. And we get a defend, too. I'll play that, too. I still have no idea what he's doing. But it doesn't seem like One Sin's killing me. And, you know, One Sin's wholesome. One Sin would never rudely murder me. Oh, wait, I just gained. Inspire. This courage grows and makes anything, everything seem possible. Oh? Gain nine block now. Interesting. So because I didn't play it, it got added back to my deck and it gave me a bunch of strength this turn. That is weird. Okay, because I didn't play it again, I'm getting even more strength. The orphan courage is constantly looking to kill. Yeah, um... I'm gonna play it now, though. And assumably it stops now? How does attack work in this game? Is it permanent? Oh, it's a permanent strength in this game, isn't it? It's not, like, for this turn. Yeah, I've just got a permanent strength modifier. That's cool. Oh god. Oh god. I think probably armor was killing me because I was defending. Um... The, wait, the defensive cards didn't even do anything, huh? So it... So it's giving me strength, but it's making it so defensive cards physically don't do anything. Okay, we kill thanks to how much strength we have. We are at 7 HP, though. Start a turn, deal 3 damage to all enemies. Sure, I'll take it. Answer all your cards containing strike. I'm not running. I can't. I've, I've removed my strikes. I need to get more block. Okay. This is awful. Okay, I'll take a. Uh, I'll take. I'll take Spider Bud. Sure thing. Do I have enough to research into you more? No, I need 30 again, don't I? Can I research you? No, okay. Is it just 30 is like the baseline for everything? It seems like it. Alright, that's fine. Strange invitation letter again. Okay, yeah, this is the... I believe this is the Lob Corp event, other one. Yeah, this one's weird. So there's a time resource. So you gotta consume time. Okay, so when you have Grave the Cherry Blossoms, you must be happy. Crumbly Armor Express chain straight into hell. What? Okay, I see. Entered a room. Oh. I can take the ticket. Oh, that's just 50 healing. All right. That's cool. Just found express train to hell. You must be happy. Oh, it's actually going to make me time it right. I'll wait a second. Is it speeding up? That's good enough for me. Did it do anything? It didn't seem like it did anything. Alright, that's cool. Oh, what else is there? Crumbling armor. That's probably gonna... I don't know. Cherry blossom. No. Uh, Meat lantern. No. I don't think any of these are worth looking into, right? You know what? Oh, I can't go back then. I was gonna consider going back. Yeah, um... Well, we got 50 healing, so that's actually really, really good for us, isn't it? We kind of needed it. It's shop time. We've got a fair bit of cost, or a fair bit of money here, so we can definitely get some good stuff, potentially. If we get something that actually increases our damage, that'd be nice. Hmm. If Fatal raise your max HP by 3. Oh, that's cool. So you get kills with this and you get more HP. When I use HP from a card. Oh, it's like it's rupture. It's like limp no. Um what do I want here? Flex is funny, but This is actually funny. Draw a card, put a hand in top of your discard pile. I see the benefit to that. We'll grab Flex too for some strength. And I guess we'll take feed because we kinda really need something that deals damage. I think. Chest, we get some goodies here. Whenever you add an attack to your deck, upgrade it. Cool, so attacks just start auto upgraded. Sounds awesome. We don't really need to heal here. We got enough healing from the trains and need to not deal need. Okay, it becomes a 13. 
Body slam becomes a zero cost. Oh, that's a good. That actually seems really goaded. Anything else we want to go for instead, though? Bash? No. War cry? That's not. That's actually pretty good. Flex? That's pretty good. Feed is pretty good. I think I'm gonna go body slam though, to see if we can actually benefit from the block stuff. That like elite fight wasn't a really good showcase of what we were going for because like we couldn't use stuff at all because of how much garbage filler was in our deck, right? Okay. This is actually not a bad turn. So defend, defend, war cry, draw a card, put strike back on the top because we can defend again. 15 defense and then we deal 15 damage and we don't take any damage because of that. All right. Yeah, it's, it's some cool synergy going on here, I think. As from someone who's, you know, barely played Slay of the Spire, it seems solid. We can collect crumbling armor. I don't think we need to defend it all here, so I think I'm relatively fine if, you know, crumbling armor gives us strength next turn, because we're probably just going to attack and kill. So if I'm understanding how it works properly, it's just making us so that if we, if we do not play it in a turn, we, uh... Gonna learn defense. Then you your block, just another one like this. I'll take Palmas Drake. 10 damage, draw two cards. I think some card draw could be nice. Fry shoots. I feel like I gotta take Fry shoots. Yeah, I'm taking Fry shoots. I'm sure that'll be funny. We've got 60, because we've got some high level stuff, so we're getting a lot more per thing. Let's do Crumbling Armor first and foremost, though. When this card exhausts, gain four strength, add a copy of this card to your discard pile. Yep, figured that much out. If you exhaust this card, you'll take damage whenever you play a skill card. Okay. It is 30 per info, then. We still don't know everything about Crumbling Armor, though. So I've understood this, but, like, why is there more? What have I not figured out yet? That's interesting. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade something. Um... I like the idea of upgrading one of these ghostly armors for even more block. That sounds funny. We'll roll with that, then. we got another shop here. We've got some money. Is there anything good? 3 HP. Oh, bloodletting. That's all. That's like ruin. Wow. Uh, I need to stop making the bit, but it's funny. Hmm. This one's on sale, so it's cheap. That's interesting. Can't afford any of these. Yeah. Card removal, maybe? It's time to get rid of more strikes. You know what? I'll do it. I'll commit. We're going. We're going full defense. We really should have. We really should have uh, taken the uh, other body slam plus it was giving us. That might have been a lot smarter. If we're relying so much on this bit, we've got an elite here. God. Big orc man. Intends to use a buff. All right. Well, we can defend. Defend body slam. Match bullet? Okay, we couldn't shoot you with the bullet. That's fine. Weaken from our doubt. That's fine. Rage. Whenever you play a skill, gains two strength. Oh. So defending is, like, not worth it? Is that what it's getting at? I suppose so. Well, we can ghost the armor here. And that's fairly worth it. Crumbling armor, we're gonna have to let that go through. We are, yeah. Right, can all feed just so I have more damage. Okay, we do have some strength now, though. We could potentially do a lot of damage here. But we just can't use defensive stuff anymore. So that's really not good. Okay. We can hit you with that into a palmal strike. Draw some cards. Do we get, like, a... We get a war cry. And we drew flex. Which all save for next turn. We're taking 20 damage here. That's fine, I think. Because I think if we... We should be able to do a lot of damage, especially thanks to the fact that we're starting with this flex guarantee because they put it on the top of the draw pile, right? Sure, yeah. Start with the flex. Bash, and you die. Okay, we took a lot of damage there, but, like, we're relatively fine. Letter opener. Whenever you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. We play a lot of skills, so that's good. Skills are the, uh, non-attacking cards, by the way. In case you don't know. Start any number of cards and draw that many. That's cool effect. In five block, upgrade card in hand for us to combat. Cool. Your next attack is played twice. Interesting idea. We'll take it. Um, Judgment Bird. Okay. Can we get Big Bird? Oh, no. We don't just realize. Right-click bucket activates certain abnormalities. 
What do you mean certain? Okay, so certain abnormalities I can use manually by right-clicking the bucket. What? It's not letting me progress. What? Oh, there's the arrow now. Was I just being stupid? I might have been. Oh well, I'm just going for the same stuff, right? What is the abno gone? Oh. Okay, by doing that, it's no longer giving me the option to take Judgment Bird. <laughs> Alright, we've accidentally deleted Judgment Bird from the space-time continuum. Whoopsies. Should we heal here? Maybe. Which place is interesting. Warcry Plus also seems really good, though. For just a really solid turn, we draw a lot. I think drawing, focusing on drawing a little bit could be good. Since we kind of have a deck where there's a certain couple attacks that we're kind of super reliant on. Defensive block in this turn. I've received 27 damage changes to a defensive mode. Interesting. Well, we'll double tap Feed, I suppose. That's the most damage. It means we can't finish off with Feed, but, like, I don't think we're going to get much of a chance to. One stand just going to chill there. Charging up. Destroy, destroy, destroy. That's not very nice. Okay, maybe we can do a lot here. Yeah, because we can... Flex. We're definitely going to flex. We're definitely going to war cry. And what do we draw? Hmm, not great. I think I'll save the... Go see for next turn then. Yeah, sure. So we just got to make you shift modes, right? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought it meant. It's good to see. Sharp hide. Whenever you play attack, take three damage. Okay, so you got spikes. That's rude. Here you yield. Palmal strike. And there we get a body slam. That's what I was hoping for. We blocked all that. Most of that damage, at least, right? I think so. Oh, we also did just trigger crumbling armor. Though. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. Also, I forgot. I can actually get the last thing in crumbling armor, right? Every time you exhaust this card, increase the damage taken from single card, increase the block value of this card. Okay. Cool. So it just gets worse and worse the more you do it. That's cool. That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. I say when it's very much not cool, nothing. Okay, wait. So can I double tap Pommel Strike? To just get a bunch of card draw? Sure. Because then we can Ghostly Armor and then we can Body Slam? To block a lot of the damage. I know whenever you clear a floor, you get fully healed. Oh god. we I don't think we can afford defending much at all at this point, though. I think we need to go all out. That's some block, I guess. Um, I need to... I need to... Crumbling Armor? Okay, Crumbling Armor doesn't count. I can safely use Crumbling Armor because it's technically not that... I'm barely alive, by the way. Yeah. Okay, you're just gonna defend next turn, though, so that's something. We can flex. Oh. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> I was literally thinking, like, okay, we can't use any uh, skills here, because we'll die instantly. And then I used a skill and died instantly. Alright, alright, good second attempt, good second attempt. We got some PE boxes, uh... I tried to get a build going. That's that's something. <laughs> Give it one more shot. Uh, do we want to try? The no, we're gonna keep on saving this character. You know, other character I know is like poison and knives or something. That's the basic gist of it, I think. That's cool. But yeah, now crumbling armor. We now know. Do not use crumbling armor and then try and build around. Dying to crumbling armor. That was a little bit of a misplay on my part, wasn't it? Oh, what's a good path here? It, it's really hard for me to understand. I think maximizing elites would be the best for getting a lot of stuff, right? Maybe I'll do something like this. Yeah, sure. That looks good enough to me. Sure thing. I don't know if you could understand the path I traced, but I traced it mentally, if nothing else, so I know. Okay, we can just attack. 
This time, let's not build around defense and then take Crumbling Armor, though. That, 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 that's the plan this turn. Okay, we get less from defense this turn. That's rude. Yeah, we, can, we can't block this much at all, can we? That's fine. We'll take 8 damage, but we'll heal up 6 of that, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. So it's basically only did 2 damage to us, like, if we just kind of, like, parry the 1. Yeah, cool. Blessing of the Forge. Oh, it's a potion that upgrades all your cards in hand for us to combat. Cool. What do we take? Five block. I need to put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Do I get to choose? If so, that sounds useful, though. Okay, Scorch Girl, Punishing Bird. We're not taking Punishing Bird. And we got Fragment. I'll try Scorch Girl. Um, is she gonna explode and kill me, though? I wonder. We can at least unlock her name. 20 damage all enemies for two cards. Freeze the damage up with a card for, by one for each card in your hand. Ethereal. Let me guess. If it exhausts, I explode and die. Or at least does a lot of damage to me. So I can't, uh... So I'm, I'm, am I forced to play it? Is that going to be the bit? It's going to be the bit, isn't it? Okay. So can I put Scorch Girl back on the top of my deck? Sure thing. Oh yeah, you got you 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 got a ritual thing. I I know your gimmick enough. Basically, each turn this guy gets stronger and stronger. You got to kill him fast. Scorch Girl. Or do we can just explode you though? Again, I think we got enough P boxes to get the next thing in Scorch Girl. When the card is exhausted, deal thirty damage selfie. Yep. So you take thirty damage if you don't play it. All right. Draw a card, draw two cards, and it costs one less for each time you lose HP this combat. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, deal 60 damage to all enemies. Hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna skip. None of that sounds good. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll grab Queen. Don't forget your rewards. I'm skipping them, game. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Queen of Hatred. Uh, let's see. What's my educated guess? Justice? It dealt six damage, healed me for six. Interesting. What's the condition, though? So far, it seems like I'll all have no cards. Like, oh yeah, okay, th this benefit. However, it, you will explode if you don't. If you don't, you know, like, pat your head while rubbing your stomach or something like that, right? Okay, that actually. Oh no, that. It costs two? Okay, it costs two, I see. I thought it only costed one and I'd be able to kill with it. Maybe the cost went up after playing it or something? I know I've already unlocked everything on Scorch Girl, so I don't need to worry about that. So I can unlock the next thing of you. No, you're evolved, so you got, you're going to cost more, I see. A fairy in a bottle, you got that green... Oh, when you die, heal the 30 of Max HE instead and discard this potion. Oh, cool! It's really good, actually. damage apply too weak so they do less damage that's an interesting idea i like the flex but i, I won't, don't really think i want too much oh you got la luna you got red shoes you got knight of despair that's interesting we got the magical girls together talking to small hut you find what he's for either upgrade its card and tick or obtain a special relic but become cursed with pain Okay, Warp Tong. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. I'd rather just choose to upgrade something, right? What does this do? That's cool. Cool. Eh. None of these really apply. matter too much to me. I mean, 12 damage, 1 cost is a pretty solid, right? We probably should focus on the 1 cost a little bit if we're going to have to... Oh, the event was actually a fight in disguise. Cool. Um, 25 damage to all enemies is kind of stupid here, though. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, what do you do? 6 damage, all enemies heal, 6 HP. Cool. Did that cost 60? Did I have 84? How much did I have? No, did I have 60? I don't remember how much I had. I couldn't tell you how much that spent. Enemy loses 2 strength. Exhaust all non-attack carrots in your hand. Heal 15 damage. Get the sword boomerangs at the 1 cost. Let's take Patch out of the galaxy. That might be healing. 
would be nice to just get more healing stuff going. Sword Boomerang. That's a good effect. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll roll with that. Attack me a bunch of times. If we get synergy with something that, like, bended, like weak an enemy whenever you hit them or something, I, I could see that working out pretty well. Okay, and this orc man. What was his gimmick again? Oh, right. He turned two and onwards. He just gets angry whenever we attack him. When, or whenever we don't attack him. Whenever we use a skill, he just gets a strength buff. So we need to just kind of let him hit us, I guess. And then try not to defend at all, because defending is going to be a net negative. I think that's how it's going. Well, yeah, let's go back to the deck. So is this worth it? So you gain two strength. It should be worth it, right? We're going to kill you with Scorch Girl next turn pretty safely, because we Scorch Girl, you get down to four HP, and then we just need one other attack. Yeah, there we go. Scorch Girl counts as a skill as well, which is funny. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. Okay, so weakened just doesn't matter to us anymore. You two opponents to start your turn, gain energy. Ooh, that's tempting, but that is taking more damage, which is rude. Flash that in the tree. Or I'll try that, why not? Did you mean dreams of void dream? Sure. Oh, you actually have re-extraction. Does that cost PE or something? Though it probably does. Magical girl, keep unlocking. I think that was 60, yeah. Played less than three cards in a single turn. Increase the cost of the card by this. So the cards are playing it. Do you need to play three cards every turn? Otherwise, this card, the cost goes up, and I assume if the cost goes up too much, she transforms or something. And then we just die. <laughs> I'm saying it a lot, but that's because that kind of just sends, tends to be the general pattern. Okay, we'll get that Berserk Plus. That it's less vulnerable on self, so it's safer. Sounds good. Colonel Feather. Every five cards in your deck, kill three HP when you enter a rest site. Okay, so it kind of benefits having a large deck. That works. Oh, we get a shop here. Cool. Get rid of the strike. I feel like the blood or anything. Can we get some draw stuff? Warcry? Yeah, let's grab Warcry. I love war crimes. I mean, Warcry. Uh, I'll take blood or anything. Why not? I like your haircut. Thanks. And then we've got another one here. Energy exhaust. Interesting idea. I mean, in case you're wondering, the gray cards are like general cards. Like, red cards can only be used by this character, the ironclad, but the gray ones can work on like any character. And like each character is like built around specific things. I think I remember I can use these. And I should use them, because if I get another potion, I won't get the chance to uh not be rid of one of them, right? Sure, but I assume I don't want to stay in here for long, because then the abnormalities breach. Cool, we can smith something again. We can actually get Warcry Plus, so that's actually good. In case you're wondering, you can't upgrade things beyond a single time. Hmm. Is that a waffle? It is. Raising max HP to 7, heal all your HP. That's not very useful, but I see. I guess I see how it could be useful. Every time you play deals double damage. Oh, that could be good to build around, I guess. I can't afford any of these. And then Pantograph, heal HP at the start of boss combat. Sure. What do I want here? Not really anything, honestly. Yeah. I'll just go on. Rest stop, you can upgrade. Or not rest stop. Whatever they call it. Bloodletting becomes. Three energy. That sounds cool. Look we'll at that. We lose some HP, but it's not a lot of HP, really. Okay, the hexagon. Hexagos, close enough. We can't get the next thing for you. I could, like, actually unlock, like, Void Dream, I guess. When in tangible. Reduce all damage taken and HP lost to one? Okay. That's cool. Intentions are unknown. We can war cry here. We'll save this for next turn then, I suppose. That sounds like it could be useful. By two weak. Does weak go down by one each turn? Yes, it does. Okay, that's what I assumed. 
That'll be nice. We can grab the intangible so you don't do any damage. Now oh, you're attacking six times though, so we'll still take a fair bit of damage. Actually, is it only for, is intangible only for one attack or is it for the turn? I don't know enough about this game to know for sure. All damage taken and HP lost to one. Probably means for the turn, right? The one cost two. What's the downside gonna be though, I wonder? It's green. I think that means it's up max. I think it'll be in this turn. I guess. I don't know. We'll be going for some attacks here. Do we want the vulnerable or do we want to actually attack a bit? What do we have in our pile here? Is there anything we'd really want to get? Why is defend ethereal? It's not. Or let's... Yeah, it's literally... Okay, is that Void Dreams bit? It makes your stuff ethereal? Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, okay. I meant to click this button to look at my discard pile again. That's fine. Okay, it is everything that turned though. I think I figured out Void Dreams downside though. We'll take the Berserk. This will be a blocky turn. Because now, uh. Are you drinking? So I think we just have four energy every turn now for the rest of the pike as a Berserk. Oh, you burnt me. That's rude. Yeah, seems like that's how it works. Cool. Letting lose three HP, gain a bunch of energy. That's good this turn, maybe. Not really. Because we have the Scorch Girl. Does it do something for us? Blessing of the Night. Oh god. Increase blocking of my cards by 50%. Cool. Did that just do a bunch of damage to me, though? I think it did. Well, we can't actually block this, can we? No. It took more damage from something? It was from drawing cards? You got a Void Dream here. I'm kind of fine making things intangible, though, right? Or making things ethereal. You're only doing six damage. Turns out I don't think it's worth it. I think we should just attack. Oh, right, this happens. One card to put on the top of your draw pile. Uh. Probably Bloodletting? That sounds like a good idea. We'll do a little bit of defending, too, so we don't take damage. I'm going to take a bunch of random damage for the Blessing of the Night, though, I presume. No? Okay. I don't know. Shh. I really don't know. That's the thing. You really very rarely seem to know what's going on with this mod. Which is funny, don't get me wrong. I'm vulnerable. Can we use you? Oh, no, we physically can't use Child of the Galaxy. Interesting. Once again, Bloodling doesn't matter because energy isn't that helps here. Do you take 5 damage from the Shadow of the Galaxy, or was that Blessing of the Night? I cannot tell. Kind of low on HP, though, that's for sure. Both damage apply too weak. I mean, weak sounds really nice to route now. Oh, this is the Ethereal one. Oh, I'm fine playing the Ethereal one, that just means it gets exhausted. Oh no, it means it gets exhausted if we don't play it, that's right. Yeah, we can block this, too. So we didn't do much this turn, but uh, at least we're not taking damage from the attacks. Didn't take any damage from anything, though, so I guess that we're fine. I can clothesline you again. I guess I might as well, right? Because then I can defend, I can strike you. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we are doing some damage. We're losing more HP than we're gaining, because we're not gaining HP in the first place, but... I think you know what I mean. Yeah, Bloodline does nothing for us, because we don't have enough stuff that's actually, like... This isn't good. Cannot block at all here. Try to put it on the top of your draw file. Um... You. We can't play you, we already figured that out. Bloodletting is worthless for us. And then I think, we, yeah, we just die. Unfortunate. Inferno. No? Oh, right, we had the potion! Oh, I gotta remember. Yeah, we got revived by the fairy in a bottle. And then one of the Abnos killed us. And as per always, I have not the slightest clue which one. Pretty cool. That's some good experience, though. We can unlock things from that. 
But yeah, that is the uh, that's the that's the Slay the Spire Lobate Corporation mod. It's very interesting. It's one of those ones that I mean I'll probably come back to sooner or later because like the more you play it, the more you understand what's going on, the more you've researched the abnormalities. Also, maybe I'll play some Slay the Spire unmodded for a little bit so I can actually figure out what's going on. That's probably a really good idea, isn't it? I mean, I know what's going on vaguely enough. I've seen plenty of Slay the Spire, I think. I vaguely know a lot of the random things, right? But uh, it would probably help me if I actually played the game more, right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of variety content. We'll be doing more variety probably every Sunday going on for for now on. Barring, you know, sometimes when the new Mirror Dungeons release, I might just stick to Daily Mirror Dungeon. Actually, like, fully for a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!